Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to review the 2018 vampire horror movie, Family Blood. A movie that focuses on a family that has a mother who's been going through a pretty difficult time. She got herself addicted to uh, painkillers, prescription painkillers, all that kind of stuff. Ended up in a real bad place, she ended up losing the children. And she's an addict, basically. Um, and she finally manages to get her life back in order to some degree, gets her kids back and goes once a week to like the addicts group. Um, and while she's there at this addicts group, there is a mysterious chap turns up who is also an addict. Um, whom we learn reasonably quickly that he's a vampire, basically. Um, and we know what his addiction is. So he preys on this mother. Um, and she ends up having a moment of weakness, takes some pills, falls asleep in the park, and pff, this vampire turns her. And the rest of her film, the film then focuses on how she copes and deals with what is happening to her, all in the while trying to keep her children at arm's length and safe with everything that's going on with her and around her. And that's the premise of this movie. That's that's what you get with this movie. Pretty interesting take on the vampire story, I suppose. Um, now, I didn't really have any expectations going into this film. I'd not seen a trailer. I'd never heard of it. Um, and I have to say, guys, I was pleasantly surprised by this movie. Really well-made movie. Um, it's... It, reasonably low budget it's not it's, it would never be a cinema release sort of thing but high quality actors from the mother to the children um and everybody else in the movie i thought the the production quality was pretty damn good here i thought generally speaking the movie was well written um if a little bit unoriginal it doesn't try and do anything new with the vampire genre but it didn't really need to i suppose i suppose the only thing it does new is like the addiction um take on it where he this vampire basically chooses his victims from like you know addicts groups things like that um but pretty well made movie um pretty intense opening i would say um and then it kind of goes into a family drama mode for the second act um you know the kids don't have an awful lot of trust with the mother the mother is failing pretty badly um, and then really goes off a cliff. Um, but it kind of goes into family drama mode and then the final act, unfortunately, is a little bit rushed. It works, but it feels like after the kind of intense opening and then the family drama slow burny bit where you get to know everybody and it kind of, you know, sets the pieces on the table. It, for me, it felt like the final act was a little bit rushed. Um, but I don't think it ruined the movie or anything. Um, it, it does have some horror tropes and cliches in here. I mean, the biggest one for me, I mean, I don't know about you, but I, I live in the middle of Yorkshire. It's reasonably safe around here, but I wouldn't walk around. And I wouldn't walk around here at night, around parks at night. No, not many sensible people would. However, this mother, after the addiction group, <laughs> one night decides to go and have a stroll around the local park even though she's been told or we've been told as well as audience members because they've just moved into this area that it's um it's a pretty pretty bad neighborhood she's been told a couple of times so why would you go wandering you wouldn't go wandering around in parks i just thought that was a bit stupid really um you know you just wouldn't do it it's not reality and there's a couple of little things here and there that you will kind of roll your eyes at. But overall, it kind of avoids really cheap jump scares. There's a couple, but nothing that, you know, gets on your nerves like some of the movies these days. Um, and there's some pretty decent tension building going on in this movie. And there's a couple of really unnerving scenes. There's a scene, for example, where her son stands on a nail. Um, and he ends up trailing blood around the kitchen floor because he's got, you know, blood coming out of his foot. Um, and then, obviously, at this point, she's been she's she's going through the process of turning into a vampire, and he goes outside for some reason, and the mother doesn't know he's there, and he he sees her then licking up the blood off the kitchen floor from his foot that he's left. I thought that was pretty um, 
unnerving and fairly disturbing scene um, and pretty effective so there is some pretty effective stuff going on in this movie i thought the guy the vampire guy was pretty good um some of the vampire effects were impressive but not over the top just subtle enough to be effective and there's a couple of scenes where they sh he shows off his strength that I thought were really quite impressive. Um, um, but he didn't oversell it. You know, as some people, when they play vampires, they really go over the top. They're either too brooding or too uh, too pantomime. And he's he, he, he's not. He's completely down the middle with his performance. And it's quite believable. Um, the mother does a very good part as well. As she slowly stumbles down um, this thing that she's going through and when you see the reaction to you know blood and stuff like that you really believe it so i thought this was a really effective vampire horror movie um, and i think if it's given a chance it will be fondly remembered by audience members over time um, i thought it was pretty effective it might be too slow for some people's taste certainly the first first hour of the movie it might be too slow for some people but i appreciated the pacing of it because it did it let you get to know the characters and so you were invested in these characters when um when things really started happening later down and in the movie so from my perspective i thought um this was a pretty good movie a good vampire movie definitely if you're a fan of vampire movies i wouldn't give this one a miss um at all it's not cheesy it's not cheap it's well made it's well acted there's some good tension in here um, there are a couple of fairly decent horror elements in here i wouldn't say it goes over the top with gore or anything like that but you know it, there's a couple of moments so for me guys i I'll give this one a seven and a half out of ten i pleasantly surprised by this um, it does suffer from some of the horror tropes that you may expect um, in in movies like this but it's reasonably well written and i think this is certainly worth a try guys so yeah family blood if you're looking for a good vampire movie guys you could do far worse than this so check it out